So it's really important that poultry owners know how to look for avian influenza in their flock and they understand what kind of clinical signs it can do. So if we start first with flock signs, it might be that you come in one morning and you scatter some seeds down and they're not really particularly interested. So they might be sat in corners, they might be huddled, they don't just respond and go, oh hi mum, you got breakfast this morning. They're not very interested. And that kind of change in behaviour for a flock is quite typical of something quite serious going on. And sadly deaths as well. If you come down one morning and find you've got a bird that's unexpectedly died, especially if you've got others who are showing signs of illness, then that really is quite a red flag. Second category is when you've got signs that are very typical of notifiable disease and they generally revolve around neurological symptoms. So it could be that they're, um, they're head shaking or they're twitching, shivering. Um, you might find them stargazing, so that's when their heads are looking up to the sky and they're not actually able to write their own face. They're all signs that could be typical of avian influenza and if you have any of those, please do speak to your vet. They can also um, get swollen faces or bruised faces as well. So if their face has suddenly got quite large and swollen, they can become purple as well. Then that can be quite a typical sign of avian influenza. Uh, skin bruising is the other one. So uh, it doesn't have to be necessarily the face. It could be the neck or the chest or the legs as well. And if you just part the feathers and have a look, the skin should be nice and white underneath, unless you've got a silky or a dark skin. Uh, but it certainly shouldn't be red or purple or bruised in any way. So if you look at the APHA gov.uk website, they list clinical signs there and they have photos as well. But some of them on that list are things like coughing, sneezing, gaping. And many birds with respiratory infections that are nothing to do with influenza may also show those signs. So if you've just got one bird in your flock that's showing any of these symptoms, like coughing, sneezing, gaping, then do call your veterinary surgeon because it might be that there's something they need to do to improve the welfare of that affected bird. But it's unlikely to be avian influenza unless you have lots of birds that are affected at the same time. Diarrhea is one of the other symptoms that's on the list. That again, if it's just one bird that's affected out the flock, it's unlikely to be avian influenza. But if you've got a few birds that are affected or they are looking sorry for themselves, you've got neurological symptoms as well, changes in behaviour, then that certainly would be far more suspicious. And remember, everyone who owns birds has a legal obligation to report any signs they see in their flock to the APHA.